Welcome to Fly by Mike, your go-to channel for everything about the fascinating world of aviation. Today, we're diving deep into the science and technology behind one of the most critical phases of flight, landing. Specifically, we'll explore how aircraft align with the runway and the various systems that assist pilots in making a safe landing. So buckle up and let's get started. When it comes to landing an aircraft, precision is everything. Pilots rely on a combination of visual aids and sophisticated instruments to ensure their approach is perfectly aligned with the runway. Let's start by looking at the visual aids that pilots use. Close-up shot of precision approach path indicator, PFI lights on a runway. First, we have the Precision Approach Path Indicator, or PAPI lights. These lights are positioned alongside the runway and provide crucial information about the aircraft's position relative to the ideal glide path. Poppy lights consist of four light units. Depending on the aircraft's angle, these lights will appear either red or white. If you see two white and two red lights, you're on the correct glide path. More white lights mean you're too high, and more red lights mean you're too low. This simple yet effective system helps pilots make real-time adjustments during their approach. Next, we have the Visual Approach Slope Indicator, or VSC lights. Similar to PFPI, VASI lights also guide pilots on their glide path, but are configured in sets of two or three bars. Each set of bars provides a visual cue. If the lights are white over white, you're too high. Red over red, you're too low. And if you see white over red, you're on the correct glide path. Vasi lights can usually be seen from a greater distance compared to Papii lights, making them especially useful during poor visibility conditions. For naval aviation, where aircraft land on carriers, the Optical Landing System, or OLS, is crucial. This system uses a series of lights and lenses to provide glide slope information to pilots, ensuring safe landings on the relatively small deck of an aircraft carrier. The central light beam, known as the meatball, moves vertically against a row of horizontal lights. Pilots adjust their approach so that the meatball stays level with the horizontal reference lights. While visual aids are essential, technology steps in when visibility is low or when precision is paramount. This is where the Instrument Landing System, or ILS, comes into play. ILS is a ground-based system that helps pilots navigate to the runway during final approach using radio signals. The ILS consists of two main components, the localizer and the glide slope. The localizer provides lateral guidance, ensuring the aircraft is aligned with the center line of the runway. This is achieved through an antenna array located at the far end of the runway. The localizer emits radio signals that create a course line for pilots to follow. When the aircraft is aligned with the runway center line, the signals received by the aircraft's instruments are balanced. Pilots monitor the localizer needle on their instrument panel. If the needle is centered, they are aligned with the runway. If the needle deviates to the left or right, they must adjust their heading accordingly. The second component, the glide slope, provides vertical guidance, ensuring the aircraft is on the correct descent path. The glide slope antenna is usually located beside the runway, near the touchdown zone. This system emits signals that form an ideal descent path, typically around a three-degree glide angle. Similar to the localizer, the glide slope needle on the instrument panel indicates whether the aircraft is above or below the desired glide path. When the needle is centered, the aircraft is on the correct glide slope. If the needle moves up or down, pilots adjust their pitch to regain the correct descent angle. During the final approach, 
pilots continuously monitor both the localizer and glide slope needles. In modern cockpits, this information is often integrated into a single display, making it easier for pilots to maintain the correct approach path. Autopilot systems can also be coupled with ILS, allowing the aircraft to follow the ILS signals automatically. However, pilots remain vigilant, ready to take over manually if necessary. Advanced aircraft are equipped with auto land systems that can perform the landing with minimal pilot input, relying heavily on the ILS for guidance. These systems are especially useful during low visibility conditions, such as fog or heavy rain, ensuring a safe landing even when visual cues are insufficient. Despite all these technologies, there are times when a safe landing is not possible due to various factors like wind shear, equipment malfunction, or runway obstructions. In such cases, pilots execute a missed approach procedure or go around. This involves aborting the landing, climbing to a safe altitude, and repositioning for another approach. The ILS and other navigational aids play a crucial role in guiding the aircraft during these maneuvers. In conclusion, aligning an aircraft with the runway for landing is a complex process that relies on a combination of visual aids and advanced technology. Systems like PAPI, VASI, and OLS provide essential visual cues, while the ILS offers precise navigational guidance through localizer and glide slope signals. Together, these systems ensure that pilots can land safely, even under challenging conditions. Thank you for watching Fly by Mike. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the technology behind aircraft landing systems. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow aviation enthusiasts, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. Until next time, safe travels and clear skies. Remember to hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. Thanks for watching.